today in Ottawa, the Prime Minister spoke at length on the mounting humanitarian crisis of overpopulated American refugee camps spread along the southern border. The Red Crescent recently declared a state of emergency for the controversial area and implored nations worldwide to continue donations. The organization estimates that the death toll has risen to nearly 50 million, mostly due to the latent stages of radiation sickness. The Parliament has voted unanimously to again close borders for an undetermined amount of time to ease the pressures put on an already strained national economy. In a related story, the Alliance Occupation Government's delegation to the United Nations continues to rebuff requests for world oversight. In a statement given yesterday at a meeting of the Security Council, the Russian ambassador said that the occupation of the former United States is not open for discussion. In other news, Chinese forces have continued their push through Nevada, defeating U.S. forces in Las Vegas. Welcome back, this Moses. As a Major Ellis. Loss for the American resistance, prompting a retreat further east towards the Arizona border. This crap's always depressing. Yo, Buzzy, check this. Oh snap! Is that a new hood, boys? Man, I didn't know they was printing LPs. Old school Drake, Eminem, some Lincoln Park. Man, hold on. Who'd you have to sleep with to get this? It ain't like that, man. Got a few friends in the Canadian military. True fans of the show. Word is, surviving members of the hood boys landed a deal in Toronto. And yo, that's a good look. Sorry to interrupt, Moses, but we need to get to work. Damn, girl. You can say hello. We have to stretch out your mix a bit today. The resistance is making a big push into Detroit and our code is packed. This is all of our intel on Russian troop deployment in the area. Our boys really need it. We good here. What's my name, girl? Whatever. Broadcasting five. Yo, Biscuit Boy. Time to make that paycheck. What paycheck? 